Hello, we have a gear set to design. Uh, we have um, a requirement of 12 tooth on the pinion, 36 on the gear with a 24 diametral pitch, which the normal distance would be one inch for center distance. Uh, the requirement is 0.99 for a existing housing. <coughs> So we have, uh, I think, an existing pinion that we're working around, and that has an addendum modification of 0.15. And so we will need to match the the gear, and the request is about two thousandths of backlash on that. So let's get started by adding a gear, and we can change this to um, <clears throat> 24 diametral pitch. and we'll change the number of teeth to 12 and let's change the addendum modification right away to 0.15 and then we'll accept that and there it is and let's add on the the next gear now of course all this data here can be changed at any time we don't have to change it when we're creating the gear Oh, let me zoom in on those teeth. <coughs> Oops. And now let's look at the assembly data. We can see we have a actual center distance of 1.0, which is the, the true values, but we need to change that to a 0.99. So I'm going to set this center distance to locked and then change this value to 0.99 and let me get this looking so we're looking straight on in the gear teeth so you see we have a overlap here so let's switch to the gear data by clicking on the swap button and we'll minimize some of the stuff here and let's change the addendum modification to Oh, let's see. Let's try 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5. And then we can zoom in. We can do some little on-screen measurement here. And if you look down in the lower left hand of the screen, we'll see we're getting about, oh, 138 thousandths of backlash there. But let's um, swap to the assembly position. And it's telling us we have uh, 4 thousandths of backlash. So let's swap back to the, the the gear and we'll change that uh, addendum modification to something a little less than that. Let's try minus 0.4. And that looks substantially smaller. Looks like we're down under uh, a thousandth of an inch, but let's swap back and see what GearTek says about it. <coughs> So we have six tenths of backlash. So let's swap back to the gear and let's try minus 0.45. <coughs> and the on-screen measurement tells us we're in the two thousandths range now. So let's swap back to the gear or the assembly, and we have um, two thousandths plus a little. So let's just uh, run with that. So there we have the gear set. Now it's just a matter of creating it in SolidWorks and uh, you're good to go. Thank you.